<laughs> Hi, hello everyone, good morning. Welcome back to the Monday through Friday daily vlog. I'm about to take Style to school and then we are going to, I should go to the post office, but it's kind of in the opposite direction. I think we're gonna go straight to the house. I have my entire kitchen dining set in the trunk of my car right now. I was surprised I was able to move it by myself, but I did and I've just been dying to have at least a piece of furniture in the house on Thursday Nick and I are getting the U-Haul and we are moving everything in um, so I'm just moving what I can right now but a dining table would be nice so we stop eating on the floor when we're at the house so anyway I will show you guys uh, once we get there what I did yesterday I did a lot of gardening for Mother's Day hope you guys had a great weekend yourselves and I'll see you when we get there I'm in the school pickup line right now but this is what Stella got me for Mother's Day the teacher had them all paint flower pots and the paint for some reason will not dry on this so I'm trying not to touch it um, but I think it has some sort of chia growing in it but it's so cute and of course I love um, plants and stuff so this is perfect okay I did it we have our very first piece of furniture in the house and it is our kitchen table um, I actually feel like we could probably even get a bigger one in fact we probably should because I only have two chairs and obviously the kids are using them both but I will say I really like the color of these floors this isn't like real wood or anything it's LVP luxury vinyl planking or something like that i love that it's like neutral like it's got some brown in it and then it also has like the cool toned gray so basically everything's gonna match with it and i'm sure i've showed off this table before but i re i originally bought this for the apartment because it had the option to make it half the size so this part actually folds over and i should probably wash the paint that's dried on the table off of it um, it folds over and you can actually put stuff in there. So I've been putting Stella's like school workbooks and stuff and kids paint and craft supplies in the table. But it's really cool. It's from Target. I bought it like two years ago when we moved in though. So I can't really link it down below. But if you're looking for a space saving option, they do make tables like this. What are you doing? Oh, bring me your banana. Go, go get the banana, because I gave you a banana and you came out here without a peel. Go get it. Ah, this is my favorite part of owning a house, is coming outside with my cup of coffee and looking at my garden and admiring my work. And also, yesterday I mowed the lawn for the first time, and as you can see, I only got halfway through it because I have an electric lawn mower, and the outlet is over here on this side of the house and it didn't quite reach as far so i need to get an extension but here's what i set up yesterday um these are little bug nets i got this on amazon this is actually part of one kit i pay i believe i paid like i want to say like almost 50 dollars for it which sucks because i kind of want another one for that bed and maybe this bed and maybe the fourth and fifth beds that i'm going to be building i haven't decided yet but it's super awesome for keeping bugs off of leafy plants like brassicas that you know cabbage worms and stuff like to eat so this bed's not even full of dirt yet i just put all the temporary plants in there tomatoes are doing great jalapenos are doing great basil is doing great everything is doing really well as you can see all of the radish that i planted in front of the bell peppers here are now sprouting and this was the first bed that i finished so the radish are actually getting huge now uh, the lettuce is doing really well carrots are still doing really well green onions and the white onions are doing amazing and nothing really has been chewed on as of yet except for maybe this one but it doesn't look too bad i might just put a little neem oil on it i love how the marigolds are looking do you like the garden yeah are you excited to start harvesting and yeah. eating more vegetables um more vegetables? Yeah, vegetables that we grew ourselves. The blue potatoes that I planted are doing so well. I swear I cover them up with dirt every single day. You're supposed to cover up the leafy parts of potatoes as they grow, and then that creates the underground vine. So the more you cover it up, the more potatoes you can potentially get. But every single day I come over here and I put more uh, dirt on the leaves, or leaves, sorry, I pronounced that weird, um, and they sprout up the next day. And we've got our shallots, three watermelons I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, the calendula I'm pretty sure, something was eating my eggplant here, I'm going to spray some more neem oil on it, 
and everything else, which is mostly more tomatoes. Not sure if I shared this pot yet. It's just on the other side of the patio. I planted some more onions which are sprouting and then more potatoes in here. But let's look at our, our pumpkin patch. Yep, pumpkins are doing great. The leaves are getting bigger. And then yesterday I randomly decided to plant a beefsteak tomato plant over here. I don't even care if it lives or dies. I just wanted to see what it would do, honestly. Um, and apparently tomatoes and tomatoes, or not potatoes, what did I say? Pumpkins and tomatoes aren't that bad to grow next to each other because if you put a trellis on tomatoes, they'll grow vertically and then the pumpkins will grow horizontally, vining like this direction probably. So as long as you control the vines, you don't have to space them out that much. And now I'm gonna take you guys and some fruit scraps over to the compost, as you can see, it's quite a far distance from the patio. I think our backyard is like 4,000 square feet and the front yard is also 4,000. Look at this, the pumpkins that I threw out are growing in my compost and I'm not even mad about it. I'll see what they do. But yeah, I just throw the scraps in here, bury them up, and keep it moist and nothing smells. So, composting, cool. Also, this is, this is not mine. It doesn't really matter how many toys we bring over to the house. Fievel's favorite activity is just sticks. Fievel loves sticks. So today we're actually going to do our first home project, I guess you can say. It's not really anything special. I am just going to be taking down these, I don't know, very... I don't know what to call these, vertical blinds? That's probably what they're called. Uh, for one, they don't have the stick attached up here to pull them closed. Also, a few of them are missing. And also, I just straight up hate these. We had them in our first apartment in Texas and they were always falling off. They were always breaking. They were always super dumb. Sorry, the camera card was full, but basically I hate these. So I'm gonna get up on my chair I'm gonna unscrew all of these and take the whole thing down. I measured this area already, so I am ordering a curtain rod and I'm gonna do like actual curtains, but I am getting rid of these. <laughs> Okay, it's done. The only thing that kind of sucks is they painted around the bar up here. So I will eventually be painting in here, I think, eventually, because this is kind of a dark color. I prefer something a little bit lighter. I like the color, it's just a little bit dark. So eventually I'll be painting, so I don't know if I'm gonna even bother trying to fix this, but I might look in the shed. There's a bunch of cans of paint in there. I might see if they have the gray one in there. But for now, it's fine. Look at how dusty and disgusting these were. One of the really nice things about still having the apartment for another week and a half is I still have access to the dumpster. I mean, I could always just sneak in there and use the dumpster, but I still have honest use of the dumpster for the next week and a half. So stuff like this, I can take to the dumpster with me and I don't have to put it on my curb. Okay, everyone, I'm <laughs> so gross right now. I purposely didn't shower this morning because I knew I had to finish mowing my lawn. And I have to just say, for as like gross as I am right now, I actually loved it. This is only the first, second time I've ever used a lawn mower. And men have been gatekeeping lawn mowing. When I was growing up, there were like boy jobs and girl jobs. Women did like all the cooking and unloading the dishwasher. My brother always had to mow the lawn and take out the trash. That was something like I was never asked to do. Mowing the lawn, so fun. I love something satisfying about it. I don't know how to explain it. Plus, it's awesome exercise. You get the vitamin D. Nobody talks to you while you're doing it. You put in headphones if you want to. And it's just like so satisfying. It also smells good, fresh cut lawn. You get to sit out here with a drink afterwards and catch your breath and like look at what you did. I love it. I would 100% do this Mm, not daily, but like every other day, then unload the dishwasher or fold laundry. And I think I did like a pretty decent job. I only had to do the second half of the backyard today, and then I did the front yard, and our front yard is actually bigger than the backyard. There's like a lot of backyard. I think I said earlier in the video, 4,000 square feet in the front, 4,000 in the back. But it might be like a little more in the front than in the back. It's not like perfectly even. So anyway, I did that. 
looks great, I think. Hopefully I don't have to do it again soon because I cut it pretty short. And I'm gonna use uh, the grass clippings in the bag. I'm actually gonna like dry them out and then add them to the compost. And let me go show you what I'm drinking because a company sent this to me for free. They didn't even ask for a review. They just asked if I wanted to try it and I am loving it. Okay, so this is the product. I have a ton of flavors. They asked me which one I wanted to try and I was like, I don't know, all of them. So this is liquid IV hydration multiplier. One of these packets is, is supposed to make one glass of water equal to drinking three times the amount. So this is apple pie flavor. It tastes so good. It's like the fall Starbucks drinks, the apple pie, or maybe it's like apple cider flavor from Starbucks. They had it last year. Anyway, that one's super good. They have a guava one. This one is passion fruit. And then Fievel and I are drinking the acai berry. They're all so good. It basically tastes like a better Gatorade in my opinion. I prefer it a little bit more watered down than they tell you to. But yeah, it keeps you super hydrated, awesome amount of electrolytes. Um, it's super awesome for someone like me with no large intestine because I don't absorb vitamins the same way like normal people do. So I am chronically dehydrated, so that's super good for me. So I think I have some sort of discount. I'll link it down below. Um, it's like an affiliate link, so I think I get a commission from it, but I honestly have no clue how much you get off. I have no clue how much I get back from it. I just really like this. So the link's in the description. I've been kind of trying to organize my kitchen right now, and it's kind of hard because I don't have all of the stuff from my kitchen yet in the new kitchen. Like half of it is still at the apartment. So I have just like miscellaneous stuff on the counters because I don't want to put it in the cabinets and then have to remove them from the cabinets some random stuff over here. Most of it, like I'm, I have a lot of coffee supplies. And I was thinking that since I have like so much space since my dining room table's pretty small, I could do like a whole coffee bar setup with like a buffet table sort of thing and like open shelvings up here. Open shelving, not shelvings. Um, so I was thinking about doing some sort of coffee situation, not in the kitchen to save counter space and cabinet space. But really the main issue is money because being a homeowner is freaking expensive and so little decorative stuff like that, I've been kind of prioritizing it, like putting it into a list of priority. I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to figure out what is higher priority. Like for me, I just ordered the curtain rods and curtains because having um, that on the windows is higher priority to me than having a decorative bar cart for like coffee and stuff. So that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so a lot of the garden was priority for me because a lot of the stuff had to be planted in the spring. It couldn't wait until summer. So now that that's almost pretty much done, I can focus on some little details of the house, like getting the curtain rods and curtains up, which I did order them. They will be here on like May 10th and May 14th. So I'll show you guys those when they get here. Okay, and now we are home. I am clean. I just washed my hair and body and I just feel so much better. So I think I'm gonna call today a day. I'm going to finish editing this video, post it for you guys, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.